Hello, this is Riko Kovasin doing my second voiceover video and this time I'm doing it for the Denim Journal which is by Finnebo and Prima and here you can see me getting the journal out of the bag I'm first showing you the journal and what's it all about and then doing a cover of the journal with a speed up video. As you can see you can close the journal with two ribbons which is really handy if you're traveling for example and you can really get it tied and the packaging shows the sheets which are included inside but let me get to those a bit later when you can actually see them and here I'm opening the journal and as you can see there's a handy little pocket on the other side and then there's some room for brushes for example or pens at the other side so you can get all your basic supplies with you when you're for example traveling or journal on the go and as you can see there's two different size of denim sheets then there's canvas sheet inside then three watercolor sheets and a pocket. And the handy thing about this journal is that it doesn't have a, a very difficult system to get the pages in, but instead there's just these ribbons, so you can easily remove and most of all uh, add sheets to your journal. For example, if you have pageant paper or watercolor sheets, you can add them there and mix and match as you like so it's really versatile and you can make it your own. And let me just show you those pockets once more. You can add your brush or pencils on the other side and then some like mementos or ephemera to the other side. Let's close it for now and let's start to make the actual cover. My starting point for the cover was some lace and sculpting medium. As I'm thinking that this journal might travel far and wide, it needs to have a sturdy cover also. So first I'm applying the sculpting medium to the lace. As the lace is really thin and uh, really absorbs the medium and as you saw I sandwiched it between the layers of the medium it also acts as an adhesive but first of all it makes the material hard so even though there's like these fluffy kind of materials on top you can't really tear them apart but still they uh, look like they're sweet and soft. So there's several pieces of lace which are completely covered by the sculpting medium. I'm applying them with a brush, but you could use all sorts of techniques. What I won't recommend is using your fingers. Normally I put my fingers to the mediums. I'm really loving the feel I get when I use my fingers, but this medium actually it's really sticky in your fingers and it takes a long time to wear off, so I use some kind of tool with it. And here I'm adding a few flowers, and the fun thing about the sculpture medium is that you can use it with different kinds of materials that absorb the medium. So, for example, I can use it with the flowers as well and get them really rigid so even if this journal is like traveling with me or traveling actually with you it still takes the wear and tear and all the flowers will stay intact so I'm applying plenty of the medium first to the flowers and first they make the flowers flat but when you leave this dry overnight preferably you need to like get the flowers up again 
because if of course this kind of paper flower when the paper gets wet it goes flat but you want to flower to be dimensional after drying so just raise those petals up again and let it dry The next step is to add some color on top and as you can see the flowers are now dried and the material are rigid because of the sculpting medium and I'm using the fantastic acrylic paints for the coloring part. As I want the fineness or the softness of the material kind of still to be seen, I'm diluting the paint with water to get that kind of a watercolor effect but if you want to use watercolors with the sculpting medium you need first to add a layer of gesso on top because the sculpting medium really creates this kind of plasticky layer so as you can see all the paint which is diluted just forms pearls on top so if you would like to add some kind of watercolor medium or even mists, I would recommend a layer of gesso first. Just adding color here and there, mixing two paints at this stage and adding a third a bit longer the way and then drying the layer with the heat tool. The next thing is to add some texture or pattern at this stage. I'm using a stencil and adding some white gesso to the background. Try to mimic the pattern of the lace and get this flowery effect all over the cover. And then I'm also adding a few patterns with the acrylic paints using the same stamp tool. Then some splashes. I simply cannot do a project without some splashes. So first some white gesso and then I used the turquoise paint as well. And then the next, next stage is to add some texture. And for that I'm using the soft gel first and then sprinkling the art stones and some glass beads on top. The gel is of course the adhesive and then the stones and the pearls form the texture. I'm later adding some color on top to make them more blend into the background. And then I'm adding my little fairy also to the cover again using the soft gel as the adhesive. First on the reverse side of the form and then I'm also coating the top of the little fairy with the medium just in case that if something spills or when I'm adding the colors I won't color the paper because this creates kind of a resist layer on top. And here you can see me adding the colors. I'm using the same colors I used in the background plus a more vibrant turquoise one. Mixing them all up. Also adding touches to the flowers and leaves. And then I use water to dilute the paint just a little to get it into the grooves and gaps of the art stones and the pearls as well. So 
here you can see me adding the water and then drying the last thing is to add a few embellishments I stamped the word and now I'm adding different metal embellishments to the cover using 3D gel as my adhesive so there's a few flowers then a small clock and the stamped word which I'm adding now and then as a finishing touch I'm also adding these little little metal pieces to the cover with the same medium And here you can see the finished cover and some detail shots. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and hope to see you on my blog too. Thank you for watching. Bye!